Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another episode of Tinkercad TV. So let's get cracking. Friends, the goal of every episode of Tinkercad TV is to entertain and inspire. Today's design is pretty epic, so let me show you what we got. Friends, today's amazing project is the Trieste Bathyscaphe, and it was created by ZDP189. Oh my goodness, it has notes. I will shut those off for a moment, and let's just take a glimpse around this amazing submersible. Oh my goodness, so many details, and so much fun stuff to check it out. Friends, if I hit T for transparent, checking out we can see inside as well how cool is that i'm going to do a couple quick adjustments first i'm going to change the background color to something that reminds me a little bit more of the ocean we'll actually put this like it's in the water i'm going to try that blue right there and then also i'm going to shut off the grid now friends we've got a different view and i think it makes it a little bit more epic Let's turn on those notes and see just what ZDP189 has shared. Of course, I'm also going to turn on the transparency so we can see inside these pieces. Note I am just pressing the letter T to turn on the transparency. So if we move up here to the front, we have got a vent. And this is the water ballast tank. Right here we have got a mooring point. We can zoom in and you can see those. Those are also called cleats. That's pretty sweet. This is a baffle for strength and it restricts gasoline movement. And then as we spin around right here, there is a hole between the sections. Let's navigate back this way a moment. This is a emergency magnetic release. And this would be the snorkel. Let's zoom in just a bit. This is a pressure relief valve. And then right here we have a winching point. If I grab that note and move it, you can see the hole where the winch would connect. Right here we have the free flooding superstructure. If I hit T for transparency, you can see how they enter that area. We would find the entrance tunnel. I'll put that transparent back on, but you can see how that is something they go in before they can enter the submersible. This right here is a battery case. And as we slip past, we have more of the magnetic releases and more cleats. This is a vent, and then right here is the water ballast tank. As we slide further down the ship, we can see this is a pellet ballast hopper. Right here we have an acoustic sounder, which is a depth meter. And this is the ballast release magnet. Right here we have a guide rope. And this is the magnesium cathodes for anti-corrosion. What an awesome detail. Let's zoom in down here. This is a hatch. And here we have the observation gondola. This is a window for viewing. Notice we can spin around and you can look down through it. And then right here we have an electronic flash and flood lamps so you got a better chance of visibility. And up here we have another ballast release magnet. And of course the pellet ballast hopper that goes with it. Right here we have the gasoline tank access panel. And finally, we have a seawater ballast vent. It is so cool to see such a realistic design created completely in Tankercad. Absolutely love all these notes that explain it. I'm going to shut off those notes again. I'm also going to do T for transparent to give us one last look at this fantastic craft. ZDP spent about a day building this wicked machine in hopes of making it accurate enough that it'd be useful, that it would be useful for classroom teachers. Of course, he also made it copy and tinkerable so you can actually click on this design in the gallery and disassemble it to see just how it was built. Of course, make sure you check the description of the video to find a link. Once again, I want to say thanks again to ZDP for taking time to share this wicked cool Tinkercad submersible with us. 
Friends, just a reminder, if you follow one of my tutorials, like say the awesome F1 car, of course there will be a link up above, and you make something super cool and want to share it with me, it is so simple. Click that button, generate a link, copy that link, and then you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, Gmail, and TikTok. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. Friends, if that doesn't work for you, don't forget my website, hlmodtech.com. It has the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or share link, and reach me almost instantly. Of course, friends, I do also want to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we have more than 600 members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, you'll also find all of the categories of Tinkercad lessons I have, and below that, you'll find my day one lessons that are great if you're just starting to use Tinkercad. Friends, as I wrap up this episode of Tinkercad TV, I just want to say thanks again to ZDP189. Your submersible is absolutely fantastic, and it is so amazing the attention to detail you put into all your designs. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.